Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Prompt. In this episode, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to put you on edge. <laughs> I want to challenge you in a way you pro possibly haven't fully been challenged. When I used to do my live weekend workshops, one of the great one of the great disappointments in my life was that I would do these workshops. There'd be 10 to 15 people in the workshop. Uh, people seemed to really love these workshops. The feedback forums always had just glowing comments and reviews and stuff. But week after week after week, it would be new groups of people. And then they'd get lost to the ether. People wouldn't join me in the follow-up. They'd never take their idea and turn it into a film. They just wanted that weekend of information. And at a certain point, I've told the story many times before, but at a certain point, I looked around and I realized that I'm that that 95% of these people are never going to do anything with this, no matter how enthusiastic they are, no matter how committed they are in raising their hand and saying, I'm going to do this. So ultimately... I was standing in one of my workshops one day and uh, and I said, you know, statistically, I'm only going to hear from two of you ever again. And there was a woman that raised her hand off to the side over here and she said, I want to know who the other one is. And we all laughed and then I never heard from her again. <laughs> I've told this story many times before, so I apologize if you've heard this already. But, but it really stuck with me that... People say they want this and they don't really want this. They don't really follow through and do this. So one of the things that I started implementing was that I would have a little postcard and on the post, I would hand the postcards out to everyone. And on the postcard, I would have them make a commitment by X date. I'm going to achieve X, Y, <laughs> whatever. Um, so six months from now, I'm going to have my first draft finished or one year from now I'm going to um, <laughs> I'm gonna sell my first screenplay which of course is is unrealistic but that's the goal that they set for themselves right so so they would write them out and they would give me back their postcards and then I would sort of figure out what dates those were going to be and I would have them on my little schedule and on those dates those postcards would go out now I never heard from anybody ever after this um, <laughs> probably because it shone too bright a light on the idea, the promise one makes to oneself in the moment versus the reality of one's actions. Well, I'd like to do something kind of similar today. If you've been watching this show since we first launched in the middle of January, that's February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, that's nine months. <laughs> We've been going nine months on the show. Now, there was a big block there where there were no episodes and we shrunk down to a couple days a week and all that kind of stuff. But had you started back then, today, you if, if you had joined Fast Screenplay at that point and you went through to today, if you went super fast through it, if you went too fast through it, you could be all the way to the end of it by today. If you went through it at its recommended pace, you'd probably be somewhere in the rewrite, somewhere in the polish. Okay, I get that you don't want to do that. <laughs> but if your reason for not doing it is because it's going to take too long, what I want to do today on October 14th, <laughs> I'm thinking about what day this is going to come out because uh, I record these a couple days ahead of time sometimes. Um, October 14th, 2020, one year from today, or whatever day you're watching this, if you're not watching this in real time, you're watching this at some point in the future. Figure out what day it is today, add one year on top of it, and mark your calendar. Put a little alert in your phone. Put some date, put a circle on it around your, on your wall somewhere. Mark the date. What are you going to achieve by that date? See, when I built Fast Screenplay, and the idea was that you'd take about a year to learn this process, and then once you had the process, you would go through and start flying through and start creating project after project after project more and more quickly and intuitively and instinctively, and you would create better and better material because each project you wrote with the, the lessons and the ideas and the skills that you built would inform every new project so you'd get quicker and faster. So the idea was you'd take about a year to learn it, another six months, year, two years, however long you want to take to master it, to get really good at it. 
I wanted to have it to where people would go through that process and a year later we would be able to go into the writer's room. <laughs> Even with that as an incentive, people have not been following through quite effectively. Uh, they, people quit. People, people don't have that. People don't have that recognition that time passes, that time is going to pass, that however long you think it's going to take you, or if you read a book that's going to show you how to get there and half the time that I'm suggesting it's going to take you, it's still going to take you some time. It's still going to take you some effort. You still have to do it. So whether you join me or not is completely irrelevant. If you, what I'm saying is a year from now, you can be where you want to be. What you're saying is I can do it faster on my own. So let's, let's put that down. Let's create that date. Let's put that date up on the wall. What is the date one year from today? And what are you going to achieve by that date on that date? How far along are you going to be? If you were to join my system and again, I only use my system as an example to try to emphasize some of these points. But if you were, let's say, to join my system, three months from now, you would have three and a half, four months from now, you would have the best first draft you've ever written in your life, no matter what level you're at. If you're a complete novice, if you're an advanced award-winning professional, you would have the best first draft you've ever written, simply because we guide you through the process to do that. Three to four months. What's, what's the date three to four months from now? November, December, January, let's say February, let's say mid-February 2020. Will you have the best first draft you've ever written by that date? Make it so that you will. If you're not going to join me, that's totally okay. But make it so that you actually get these results anyway. Make it so that you're actually following through with this. Project forward. Here's, the, here's one of the big challenges some writers get into with FAST, and that is that they make assumptions that they're going to have the big sale by X date. The problem is you don't know what's going to happen in here. There are lots of roadblocks. There are lots of ups and downs. You're going to fall over many times and it's going to push your deadline further into the future. So don't make hard commitments like one year from now, I'm going to be signing a deal with with <laughs> CAA or something, right? Don't don't make that kind of a commitment if you don't know what's involved yet. If you don't if you haven't experienced the journey multiple times. Even if you have, don't make that kind of a commitment. Make it something that you know you can achieve. Make it I'm going to learn this system. Make it I'm going to write a first draft. Make it I'm going to write a polished draft. Make it I'm going to go to three film festivals. Make it I'm going to start networking with my local film community. Make it make it something you can do that is not outcome based. Because if you make your goal outcome based and you don't achieve that outcome, then you can ultimately feel depressed. You can ultimately feel like you haven't, you're not good enough or that this is an impossible dream and it can be self deflating. You need to make sure that your goals are something that you can do, you can achieve. If I want to go to the gym and I want to say, I want to lose 50 pounds by six months from now. Yes, technically that's achievable, but it's better to say, I want to start off with something like, I want to be able to, I want to go to the gym three times a week, every week for the next six months. That's achievable. What the results are that come out of that. If you put too much pressure on yourself, it, it has the inverse effect. Deadlines are something that become... Deadlines are something that can serve you or that can work against you. We have one of the one of the first 10 days uh, in Fast Screenplay, one of the steps is about deadlines. It's about setting deadlines for yourself. And I see people set these deadlines that are completely unrealistic because they're basing the deadline on something that they can't possibly know yet. They're assuming they can do something without understanding what's involved in getting to that thing. So instead, you need to set a deadline for yourself for something you know you can achieve. And so what I'm suggesting to you today, uh, the challenge that I put to you, the thing that I would like to see you do, is I would like to see you project forward. 
I would like to see you imagine where you want to be by what time, when you want to be there. If you say three years from now, five years from now, I want to be a professional screenwriter that's getting paid to do it. That's all well and good. But if you don't know the steps to get to that point, I would not set a hard deadline on that. But what you must do is set a hard deadline on where you're go what you're going to have done by that point, what you're going to have achieved. You can absolutely write a screenplay by a year from today. You can write and polish an extraordinary screenplay by a year from today. And if you're not gonna join me, totally fine. Set it for yourself. Make that goal, make that commitment. And then what I want you to do is I want you to come back here. I'm gonna make another video at some point in the future. I'm gonna mark my calendar to make a video a year from today that basically says a year later, how far did you get? Did you actually do it? Here's the thing that I have found from writers in the past that have made all these big, bold promises and have told me that they're absolutely going to follow through with this and then don't. The problem is a year later, it's crickets. You don't hear from them anymore. They don't follow through and take that action. The secret to getting where you're trying to go is dead simple. Consistent, ongoing, daily action. It's not about what to put where in your screenplay. It's not about learning story structure better or creating better dialogue or understanding subplots or the five tips to this and the six tricks for that in the screenwriting world. It's not about any of that stuff. It's about dead simple. Take action today. That's what it's about. If you're not going, if you're, if you're going to do that, you, you don't want to join me, but you want to go do your own thing. If you're going to do that, do that. Set that target for yourself so that you know how close or how far you are from that. If you want to make sure you hit that target, join us. If you, if you are sure you can hit that on your own without the, the help of, of a path that guides you through that process, that's fine too. Just make sure you set that target for yourself and then really go after it and then really do it because you're never going to improve. We're never going to actually get to the point where... You can turn your ideas consistently into powerful, effective, viable, production-ready, page-turner screenplays if you don't take any action toward it, if you don't take a lot of action toward it, if you don't take consistent, building, growing action toward it. So at the end of the day, here's the challenge. <laughs> the challenge is put a, put a target in front of you so that you have something physical and tangible to reach toward. If you put that thing that, you can, that you're going to reach toward and you actually then pursue that thing, you're going to get way closer to it than you think. And let's say it takes you two years instead of one year. A lot of people freak out about that. Oh my God, I'm so far behind. You're not behind. There's no race. This isn't a, this isn't a competition with anybody else. Are you closer to your goal or not? If you're closer to your goal, it doesn't matter that it took twice as long as what you thought it was going to at the beginning. If you're closer to your goal, you're getting there. You're moving forward. You're taking action. And that right there, my friends, is the key to success. So set your target, pop it in the comments, make a public announcement of what your target's going to be. Pop it in the comments below. Let me know what your target is. Let the world know what your target is. And then you can check in later and see how well you did. Sound good? I dare you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode. See you next time.